Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you another purchase or pass. As you guys know, Samantha March is the original creator for this type of video, but I think it's a really fun idea and a great way to talk about all the makeup releases that are coming out. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me. We're going to get into it right now. Okay, and if you happen to really like this eye look as I totally totally do. Stick around because the week of St. Patrick's Day I'm going to be posting a lot of different green looks to kind of celebrate the holiday and you can definitely check out how I got this look. Alright, so let me scoochie scoochie. And the first thing that we're going to talk about, the first thing that we're going to talk about is <laughs> Becca. Now that is the huge news for this week is that Becca is going to be closing as of September 2021 and I think it is just, it's like a, an end of an era honestly because the Becca highlighters have been such a staple in everybody's makeup collection for so long that it's like unbelievable to think about the fact that they're not going to be around forever. Um, I know they cited COVID-19 as you know a big part of why they're you know financially struggling and this and that and so I do appreciate the fact that they gave their employees time to kind of find new employment um, and announced it so that you know everybody could decide if there was anything else they wanted to bring into their collection before their doors closed for good. Um, so I think that's pretty cool you know, way that they did it. I was marveling to my aunt, you know, they went from like a no pigment foundation to now a no business business. So <laughs> I feel sad. I feel like it's an end of an era, but also I think it's going to make way for other brands that are more innovative, more creative, more, you know, insightful. And those brands are going to flourish during this time. So I'm sad to see them go, but it's business thing to talk about is the KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm and it is in a fully recyclable compact and it's like a balm type consistency foundation that then you can apply. It does have an apple extract in it to try to help nourish the skin. It's $38 and it's in 40 shades. I think that's a pretty decent shade range and decent enough price point for you know kind of high-end foundations but it is supposed to be a full coverage and matte finish which I do not personally care for I would rather have a light to medium coverage um, and I would rather have sort of a natural dewy or luminous type foundation finish so for me I'll be skipping over this one but if they do release this with different finishes or maybe even a lighter coverage I would consider checking it out The next thing to talk about is Trixie Cosmetics is releasing their Daytime Realness collection which has a palette, a little glitter pot, um, an accessory pack, and then they are releasing some apparel as well. I think this palette looks so so cute and I am a smidge jealous of Trixie Mattel and the way that she does her eyeshadow because she brings her lower lash down to about here and then applies glitter like across here so she can actually get away with keeping it pretty far from her eyes and still keep things nice and safe but it still looks like part of her eye look so I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> but I do think the palette looks really pretty. I probably will not pick this one up only because I feel like I already have a lot of similar products in my collection already so I'm not sure that it really adds something new to my collection. Um, but I do think that it is really really pretty and if you were to pick it up I'm sure it would be good quality. Estee Lauder is coming out with the Rebellious Rose Pure Color Envy Blush and it looks like there's just one shade for it. It's $32 and it's limited edition. I don't really get why there's only one shade because I feel like if you're going to make a blush like that's not going to work for every single person. It's either going to be too light or too dark for some people so I'm not really sure I understand the purpose of a limited edition blush like that. I think the embossing is kind of cute. It almost looks like a flower um, but I definitely will be passing over that one. Ofra Cosmetics is doing a collab with Steph Toms who I don't personally like know her channel or anything um, but from what I understand she's I believe UK based and she's doing this milk and cookies highlighter collab which has kind of a half and half light and kind of a deeper golden um, highlighter. It looks really pretty. It's $35. They're describing it as a champagne pearl and a warm champagne with bronze undertones. I think the cookie side of things is going to be a little bit too deep for me and the milk side just looks very similar to like a glazed donut um, Ofra highlighter. So I think I'll be passing over this one but I do think that it's really cool that Ofra is continuing to do these collabs um, and I do think it's a really cool looking product. Okay. Makeup Maniacs 
um, is doing a palette called C'est La Vie and it's got this really pretty kind of like butterfly aesthetic and then the inside is like cool tone pinky purple blue shades. I think this looks beautiful. I don't have a price. Um, but I would guess it's probably about $20, $25 based on their other palettes that they have in their collection. I think this is really pretty. If I have some leftover money laying around, I may end up picking this up at some point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Makeup Revolution? No. Hip Dot? Who knows? Hip Dot and Peeps brand um, are collabing and creating this little six pan palette that's sort of Easter themed and then a four pack of peep shaped um, sponges. I'm really not into sponges right now but the peep sponges look so damn cute. I may still get them just because they look so cute and I can't help myself. Um, the sponge set is $16 which I think is adorable and they do have like little faces carved into the sponges so I think that's adorable. The palette I can pass over um, but the sponges I may end up getting at some point. Alright, Peachy Queen Cosmetics is launching a surprise palette called the Tiffany's by Peachy Queen and it's got some kind of minty teal shades. It's got a black, a white, some silvers, and then sort of a burgundy plum type shade. I think this looks so pretty and I don't believe there's any pressed glitters in it which I think is absolutely awesome. I know that's one of the things that I get so frustrated by with some of these indie brands that I would really love to support is that I'm so tired of buying palettes with pressed glitters in them that I'm never going to use. Um, so I might pick this one up. This looks really cute. It's $27.99 so let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a look or a video um, using this palette because it might be something I end up picking up. Alright, another one. So this is the Necromancy Cosmetica um, Gothic Romance Palette. It's eight pans and I did talk about this sneak peek a while back but we finally see what the palette looks like. It's kind of this accordion fold up design and then it slides into like a shell that looks like a book and I think that is so so cute. Um, the shades are these nice kind of smoky darker tones which I think is very very pretty. Um, it does look like it comes with a mirror which is awesome. I would definitely be curious to try this. I haven't tried anything from that brand before so if you have definitely let me know in the comments down below um, but this is on my list. I'm keeping an eye on this one. Alright, Jaclyn Cosmetics is launching a whole bunch of highlighters and blush bronzer duos and then like another glittery eye topper thing. Um, I'm not picking anything up from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I don't want tetanus from my makeup so that's going to be an easy, easy pass for me. Alright, Hank and Henry is releasing three blush quads, um, which are sort of in like light, medium, and deep tones. It looks like they are super, super pigmented. They're $25 a piece, or you can get all three for $45, so that gives you um, a little bit of a discount off each one. I think these are really, really pretty. The one that I'm drawn to the most is actually the deepest one because it has this really pretty like burgundy, grapey kind of tone in blush. I think that would probably look super ridiculous on me being that I'm a ghost, um, but it's pretty. It's You can't argue with how pretty that is. Um, so I'll be really curious to see different people um, of skin tones other than me giving those a try, um, and I'll look forward to more releases from Hank and Henry. Muse Beauty is launching the limited edition Le Jardin palette, um, which means the garden in French, for those of you who weren't tortured by French in high school. And it is $28, vegan, cruelty free, and blendable. It's got some kind of violet shades. It's got a couple of pinks in there, and then sort of a lime green and a minty kind of shimmer shade. It's pretty. I'm not going to lie, it's very pretty. I don't think it's pretty enough for me to want to make a purchase just yet from the brand but I keep seeing everything that they put out. Their very first palette um, was the one that I think, I think it's the Impressionism palette, was the one that I think I was the most drawn to because it just had kind of this whole like watercolor rainbow thing going. And then they did do a smaller Van Gogh palette I believe um, which was like a nine pan a little bit grungier. That one I wasn't super drawn to. This one definitely gives me spring vibes. I understand the whole concept perfectly. I think it's a great execution. I just don't think it's going to add enough different and new type 
product to my collection to warrant purchasing at this time but it's a brand I'm keeping an eye on because for sure I would like to try them in the future. Pat McGrath is releasing a Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick collection. Um, there's eight shades. They're $30 each or you can buy all of them for $200. $200? No, that's that's too much. Somebody's somebody's playing games. Um, the shades are pretty, but they're nothing new or different to my collection. I'm not wearing tons of matte liquid lipsticks right now. Anyway, when I go to work, I don't wear anything but eyeshadow, and I don't wear anything this exciting to work. Um, so I think I can easily pass over that. But like, whoo, spendy. Alright, this one I'm so excited for. So this is Dee Dee Signature and they have a whole bunch of like fruit themed palettes and they've gotten a lot of feedback that says we're tired of pressed glitters, please stop it. And they actually took that feedback and they put some normal shaped palettes together because I think that was some of the other feedback they got like because they have palettes that are like a big strawberry and like just weird shapes. Um, so they made these little quads. There's five quads. Um, there's no pressed glitters in any of them, and they're fruit themed. I think these look so cute. There's a blue one and a green one, and then there's one that's like burgundy and orange. These are cute. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on these, look at the reviews, and see. I might pick some of these up. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video on that as well. Okay. <laughs> This one I thought was a joke. I really thought this was going to be some five below makeup, but this is actually put together by Coach and Sephora brand. And they made these little keychain eyeshadow palette things. One looks like a shark, so Teresa is dead. You should probably just go ahead and review it for the rest of us. Um, one is a little T-Rex. One is a unicorn. There's a brush set, a lip gloss. I don't know what these are. Yeah, lip gloss and some eye masks. These little keychain eyeshadow palettes are $38. That is about $30 too much. I really don't know where they're coming up with that price point. I know it's coach, but like, come on now. Um, this is all going to be a straight up hard pass for me, and I really don't know what coach and Sephora are doing, but that is clear in section makeup if I've ever seen it. Okay, Midas Cosmetics is doing a collab um, with Drench Cosmetics, and they came up with the Genesis palette. We finally have a color story reveal. Um, so it looks like it's 15 colors. There's some warm toned neutrals and then some blues and a silver. I think this looks really pretty. It actually kind of reminds me of the color story of the, oh, what was it called? Stupid Love? Crazy Stupid Love? Something like that palette from Lady Gaga's brand. Nobody cares about Lady Gaga's brand, but it's a really similar color story in terms of like half warm toned neutrals, half blues. Um, I think it's really, really pretty. There is a... I can't tell if it's a navy shimmer or like a blackened shimmer shade, but that is really calling my name. So I cannot wait to see some swatches, see a little bit more about the palette um, to decide whether or not I want to pick that one up. Alright, ColourPop is releasing Cheek Dews, which are supposed to be a serum blush formula. It looks like, how many shades do we have? Do we know? It's got to be at least 10 here. Yeah, 10. Um, there's 10 different shades from what I can tell from Dupe That. Um, the shades look really pretty. There's some really cool like corally orange shades. There's some brighter red. I think these, these might even work on more than one skin tone. I don't know. Some of these shades might work on more than one skin tone. I'd be curious to see. Um, I'll definitely be watching out for some, well, hmm. I don't know. So in the one picture. I'll see if I can put all these pictures on the screen. So in the one picture they look really really pigmented and vibrant and you can tell there's like excess product on the skin. In the other picture I think they swatched it and kind of wiped away the excess product and everything looks very 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 pale. Um, so if that's as much pigment as deposits on the skin with these blushes then I don't think those are going to work for more than one skin tone. So how do you make a 10, how do you make a blush range of 10 blushes and you still only work for light skin tones like I really don't understand how that even happens like somebody in the boardroom somewhere needs fired um, I won't be picking these up I am still waiting for Colourpop to replace some damaged product I got in my last haul which if you saw my like Valentine's Day haul um, you actually saw some of the pans fall out of the one eyeshadow palette <laughs> Um, so I'm waiting for them to replace some of the product that I ordered in that same order before I consider making any future orders. Alright, 
Taste Beauty NYC and Official Rugrats are collabing via Funko and doing a Walmart release. I don't know. There's like four people collabing here. I'm not really sure. And so they have looks like four little lip glosses and a six pan eyeshadow palette which looks like Angelica Pickles. Was that her last name? Pickles? Angelica Pickles? I think. Um... Yeah, this is ugly. This is real ugly, and I don't have anything nice to say about it. Um, this is not worth actual dollars that you work very hard for, and yeah, I would pass over all of this. Maybe if you see it in the clearance section for a dollar and you really want it, go for it, but otherwise I would not pay full price for that. All right. Yardi Cosmetics is releasing the Voyage by Sea collection and it looks like there's a couple lip products, some lashes, a brush set, and a palette. And the palette is giving me like beachy weekend vibes and I'm so here for it. It looks so, so cute. Um, it's an all shimmer palette from the looks of it. I would definitely love to give this a try. It looks like it la launches on March 1st. I don't know what the price is going to be, so I think that'll dictate whether or not I pick anything from this collection up. Um, but I would not be mad to give this product a try. And the lashes look really cute. Um, the brushes look very similar to the Cleona brushes that I already have, so I don't need that. Um, but the palette has my eye. Alright, and the last thing to talk about BH Cosmetics just, just released the sneak peek of the Aquamarine palette for March. Um, and so far all we have is the outside of the palette, but it's this really pretty, you know, aquamarine blue colored packaging. I'm very curious to see what's inside. I hope at some point they stop doing pressed glitters in these palettes because I think for $9, you know, you could do a really cool palette. It might even be similar to the Trixie Cosmetics palette. Um, $9 is a great price, but I still don't want to be buying pressed glitters. So that'll influence whether or not I end up picking that one up. Alright, and now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what has your eye, what are you passing over this month, are you interested in picking any of these things up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye!